In this video, you'll learn how to make an intro video for YouTube, and we'll do that right now. Hey everyone, I'm Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zoos. On this channel, we do weekly videos to help creators, marketers, and educators create videos that get results. My clients find this information helpful, so if you want the same experience, the same results, please consider clicking that subscribe button now. Now, what I'm talking about with an intro video for YouTube is a short video that plays near the beginning of your video. You can use this intro to introduce your brand, your company, your channel, whatever it is, but what it can do is it adds a level of production value to your video and it lets people know that your channel is something more than just this video they're watching. We don't wanna waste people's time watching a 30 second intro video. We wanna to get to the content as quickly as possible and a short intro video, four to eight seconds, is a great way to splash your branding up in a quick and fun way. And what's a pretty awesome part of this whole process is that all this can be done on your mobile device. The app we're using is called CapCut and it's available for iOS and Android devices. Now CapCut is made by a company called ByteDance and ByteDance are the creators behind TikTok. So if the TikTok app is not available in your region, then the CapCut app won't be either. But assuming you have the ability to download CapCut from the Play Store or the App Store, go ahead and do so onto your mobile device. And for the purposes of this video, I'll be doing this on my iPhone. Now, for those of you who have seen my videos in the past, you may have recognized that I use a different intro video in this very video. And this intro video is the same intro video that I'm going to teach you how to create in CapCut. So let's go ahead and take a look at this intro video once more. So now I just wanna quickly analyze what we have going on in this intro video. Basically we have four clips of video with text overlays and a logo at the end. The four clips that you see are just B-roll clips. These could also be photos. Basically, you want imagery that's related to what your channel is about, your brand, your business, anything like that. The words are buzzwords that are typically associated with your industry, with your niche, that sort of thing. So think about those things before you get started. And if you have a logo, you want to have that on a transparent background in a PNG file type. So once you have those items collected, let's jump straight in to CapCut. All right, so now we're inside CapCut, and I'm using my mouse on my iPhone to make it easier for you to see where you click. So now that you're inside CapCut, we're going to simply click on New Project, and this is going to launch our camera roll with videos, photos, live photos, and some stock video options provided by CapCut. I like to use videos and photos that are relevant to my personal brand. So what we're gonna do now is find four clips or photos that we're going to use as the backgrounds in our intro video. These will be the backgrounds that um, appear with text on top. So they'll kind of support the text, it'll look cool, trust me. So let's get started by selecting multiple clips here. You can select um, these by clicking these circles and I'm going to select these four clips and as we select these four clips, they're going to appear down here below. Now when you're doing a photo, it won't put these down here below, it'll just be selected and you can just add them to the project. But since we're doing video, what this is asking us to do is trim these clips prior to importing them into our project. So let's click on each one individually and we'll see that this is really, it's the raw clip. So what we wanna do is trim it. And so we're gonna grab these handles here and we're gonna drag it to wherever your clip might start. Mine starts about right here as I start panning down. And then we got this handle over here that we wanna back it up to about 1.7 seconds in length. And 1.7 seconds is just the preferred length for this purpose and for this tutorial. Your clips and shots can be as long as you want them to be. So once it's at 1.7 seconds, we're gonna click on this check mark we're going to do the same thing to this clip as well. Click on trim, drag it to where the shot begins, drag this back to about 1.7, click on the check mark. We're going to click down here on this one, do the same thing. And really what I'm doing is really, it's all about shot selection. It's like where does the shot begin and potentially end 
and we want to grab the best part of that. We don't want to grab the camera shake that's at the beginning or the end of your clip as you're reaching to hit the record button. All right, so now we have our four clips. You can see down here, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. We're going to click this button right here called Add, and that's going to launch us straight into the main interface of CapCut. Now, once inside, you'll notice the video preview monitor up here. This is our sequence or our timeline, and then we have a bunch of buttons down here. And if you click and drag on this timeline, it'll scrub through the clips that are on the timeline. So we have these four clips nicely trimmed up. Now, before we get started hitting buttons inside CapCut, the first thing you want to do is select the format or the size of your project. So to do this, we're going to scroll down here and click on Format. And this is going to ask you what format you want your video to be edited in. If you're doing this for YouTube, you're likely going to use 16 by 9, which is the widescreen landscape orientation. If you're using this intro or want to put this intro or editing any other video inside CapCut, you can certainly do 9 by 16, which is vertical. You can do 1 by 1, which is square. You can do a lot of different sizes, but for the purpose of this one, we're going to click on 16 by 9. Once that's selected, it'll be that size throughout the edit. What we want to do with these clips first, before we get started into the fun, fun stuff, is we want to darken these clips a little bit. And by darkening them, it's going to help our text stand out a little bit. And we don't want to darken them too much, but we just want to put a dark little sheen. So I would go to Adjust, click on Brightness. And we're going to just decrease it a little bit like that. Hit the check mark. And we're going to repeat this step for all of them. And what I'm doing is I'm clicking onto the clip, which then opens up a new set of menu options for that clip specifically. We're going to click on Adjust. We're on Brightness. And we're going to bring it down just a tad. Click on the check mark. Click on the next clip. Scroll over. Click on Adjust bring down the brightness a little bit and we'll do this one as well this all just helps you get comfortable navigating this app click on brightness and bring it down a little bit so now that you have those four clips uh, darkened what we want to do is we want to reorder them perhaps the order that we imported them isn't the order that you want to be displayed and you can sequence these clips however you want and to change the position or location of these clips, what you want to do is do a long press on the clip, which will shrink it down to this menu thing, and then you can drag these anywhere, and I want to drag this camera clip to be the first clip. I want the keyboard to be the second clip, I'd like the office to be the third clip, and I'd like the last clip to be where, this is where we're going to put our logo over top of this. So these clips are going to be anything that you have. I'm just using these clips as an example. Okay, so now we have our four clips. They're trimmed, they're darkened. And, and what we're basically doing is laying down what I call the establishing edit. This is the kind of the bare bones edit before we go back and add all the finesse. So let's get all the pieces in place and then we'll go and add some flair. So what we want to do now is we want to bring in our logo. So if you have a logo, it needs to be on a transparent background, a PNG file type. And what we're going to do is click on this overlay button down here in the main menu. And then click once more on add overlay. And it's, what it's going to do is going to launch our camera roll again, asking us to import the clip or photo we want to overlay. In this case, we're going to click into our photos and grab our logo, which is this right here, and click on add. And that what it's going to do is put itself underneath your video in terms of the timeline, but really, realistically, it's going on top of your video. So as you can see, you can see my Video Zeus logo on top of this clip. And as I scroll through, you can see that the clip ends and the logo is still going. So what we want to do is trim this little graphic inside our timeline, and we can grab hold of this. I kind of like when you're touching it, kind of click drag down and then start dragging and as you drag you'll notice it'll kind of snap to the timeline playhead here it'll also snap to the clip you can kind of see how it snaps and you'll feel it in the phone it kind of vibrates a little bit so do the same on this side just to make sure it's lined up perfectly 
That way, when this clip is popping up, that's when the logo's popping up, and it looks pretty good. So now we have our bare bones edit down. Now the next thing to do is to click on each clip, and we wanna click on volume, and we wanna bring the volume down to zero, because these clips, the volume is not necessary. So go ahead and click through each of these clips, click on it, click the volume button, it'll pop up, turn the volume down, hit the check mark, and you're good to go. So now I got all four of these clips, there's no volume, they've all been properly edited, and now we're ready to lay down the fireworks. And as you can see right here, we're at the length, we're about seven seconds, which falls perfectly in between that four to eight second mark I like to aim for. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to click back into our main menu area down here, and we're going to add our text layer. So let's click on this T for text. We're gonna click on add text, which launches this area here where you can type in something. Now what we're going to do with these text layers is we're going to create a text layer for each of the first three clips. And once your text layer is launched, what you want to think about is what are the words you want to pop up on the screen that's going to ultimately tell the story of your intro video. For purposes of my video, some keywords I think about are words like identify, uh, influence, um, convert, um, connect some of those kind of buzzwords. So think about what buzzwords you can kind of find for your channel, and that's maybe what we want to use in these kind of three little spots. So we're going to create our first title, and we're going to make it all caps, and we're going to type in identify. So once you have typed in what you want it to say, we're going to now tap down here on style, which is going to open up the kind of text editing part of the effect and we're going to scroll over and use I'm thinking it's this font or something similar basically we want to um, basically what I'm looking for is a um, bold font something that would be easily read on a mobile device or anywhere where people might be watching this video so I like this Anton font it's bold it doesn't really pertain to my what I call my branded font but again this is really just for an intro video and you'd rather people be able to see your text than not and so I like that's why I like this font so once once you have that typed in there with the right font you can tap on this right here and kind of drag kind of down and it will kind of increase the size of this text here so now you can kind of see where I'm going with it so it's nice and big I like it and you can change the color down here of the background or of the text layer. You can add a um, outline around the background if you want. You can add a background behind the background. There's a lot of stuff you can do inside this text editor. But I like to keep it timeless. I like to just use a white over top of this. And there's also some effects you can use and bubble graphics and all sorts of stuff you can play with to get it funky and nice and neat. But once we have our text here, let's click on the check mark. And now we have, you can see this orange text layer down here in our timeline. And we're going to simply position this over this clip right here. As you can tell, it kind of goes over top of these two clips right here. So we're going to grab this handle, snap it to that clip. We're going to grab this handle. We're going to snap it to this clip. So now identify is only appearing on this clip. So let's play the whole thing here, play the clip here, so identify. And then the next clip will show up. So now, what we wanna do is add two more text layers, but instead of doing it from scratch, we're going to simply click on copy, select the text layer and click on copy, and that's gonna drop it right here. We're gonna do a long press, and we're gonna drag it up over, and it'll snap, kinda, you'll feel it kinda snap in there. Let's go ahead and copy this one as well, and then we'll snap it to the next one, long press, drag. All right, so now we can du basically double click on this layer to open up the text layer once more. And here is where we want to type in our next piece of text. We'll do all caps. I'm gonna do influence, because it looks cool. Influence, all right. 
So we have influence typed in. It'll carry over when you copy it. It's going to carry over all the styling that you did for the first one. So we're good there. Influence. Let's double click on the next one. And we're going to change this one to convert. Again, some buzzwords, whatever is relevant to your kind of channel, your industry is going to be your best shot there. All right, so now the next step, let's add some flair to our text layers. So we want to actually add a little animation where they kind of fly in and fly out just to kind of keep the momentum going for this intro video. So to do this, go simply click on the um, text layer, which will open up another area here. We're going to click on style, which will kind of launch us back into this uh, text editing application. But now we're going to simply scroll up here to where it says animation. And it's going to start showing you previews of what these animations look like. And they all look pretty cool. I like to use a couple certain ones because I don't like to be cliche in using the same um, ones that every, everyone else uses. So I like to use one called squeeze. You see that how it kind of kind of bends in? I like that. All right. So then... That's, as you can see, it's for our end point. So that's going to do that at the start of the clip. And then we're going to simply click on the out. And we're going to scroll back and we're going to... Now, it's funny, on the out, squeeze is no longer available. It gets changed to expand. So it kind of squeezes in and then it expands out. And when you have this set up, you'll kind of see down here... It's going to show you this is the in and this is the out. All right. So once that's laid down and set up, you're going to click on the check mark. So now this first one has this effect on it. Okay. So now let's do the same for the other layers. So we're going to click on the layer itself, click on the style button down there. We're going to scroll over. We're going to click on animation. We're on the in. We're going to scroll over. We're going to need to find squeeze. And again, you can use whatever you want, but I like squeeze. Then we're going to use on the outside. We're going to scroll back and we're going to click on expand. All right, so now let's review this. Identify. Influence. Convert. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. All right, we're starting to get to fancy going. Okay, so now let's add some fancy to our logo. Okay, at the end here, we're going to make our logo kind of fly in just to kind of match kind of the momentum that's going on with the text. So to do this, we're going to hover our playhead kind of over the area. You can tell there's a layer here because it's got a little bubble. Click on this overlay button. And then click on your layer, which is going to be that one right there, which will open up a bunch of this stuff as well. Next, we're going to click on the animation effect. And we're going to click on in. Because we want it to fly in and then basically stay there. I like to use a zoom, some sort of zoom like that, where it's kind of coming in. Again, it'll be... You won't be able to see kind of where the shot actually starts. I like to do zoom one. Yeah, zoom one right there. And you can extend the duration of it. I like to get, bring it in quick. There you go. Click on check mark. And so now, as this stuff is moving, this is going to move as well. You see that? All right, this is starting to look pretty good, and we're almost done. Let me just, we're going to add a couple more things just to kind of spice it up real quick. What I want to do is add a transition between these clips, so there's a little bit of pop, splash between these clips. To do this, we can click on in right here, which is where the transitions live, and basically you want to, really, there's so many you can choose from again. There's so many, um, but you can f typically find some cool ones. I like to use these glare effects. You can find in the top one it says effect and then glare. Glare 2 seems to be pretty cool. It's not too overly uh, effecty looking. So let's do the same on this one. Go here, effect, click over to glare 2. Go do the same right here, effect. 
glare two. So now let's play this again, and we're almost done. Identify, influence, convert, video Zeus. Ha, <laughs> there you go. All right. So for the most part, we're all just about wrapped up. The one thing we're, we don't have yet is music. And what's cool about CapCut is they actually provide some music tracks that we can use for this very video. So we're going to simply click on this little button called Add Audio, or you can click down here on this audio button. And then we want to click on Sounds, and that's going to launch their music library. And basically, you can click on any of these clips to preview it. And there's different ones, different categories, they're all different lengths, uh, all that good stuff. And there's some decent music on here, and it's for the most part, I believe it is royalty free. So once you find one you like, you can click on this plus icon, and that's going to drop it inside your project. If we do a long press, we're going to bring it back to the start. There you go. So let's trim this. Um, basically, you want to trim this music clip, or you can just put a split and then click on this little piece right here that you don't want, click delete. Now click on this clip and let's trim it to the end of our video. Okay, and now with our audio music selected, we'll have this menu down here that's just for audio. We wanna click on fade. So we want this audio to fade out at the end so it doesn't just stop abruptly. And maybe like a one second, one and a half second fade will be good. Let's go ahead and review this, see what we got. All right, so there we go. Let's play this thing in full, but basically this is exactly what your intro could look like and should be. And there you go. So again, this intro is seven seconds long. It features three buzzwords that kind of tell the story of my channel, my purpose, and then it's got my logo popping in at the end. Now, if this is your first time inside CapCut, you will notice that CapCut has a watermark at the end, but no worries, you can actually just click on that and then click delete and it takes it away completely, okay? And if you delete it once, it's gone pretty much forever until you wanna bring it back by clicking this button right here called Add Ending. But assuming you're ready to go and export your video, you can simply do so by clicking up here on this icon and your video will basically process on your phone and be exported to your camera roll. And there it is on the camera roll. And if you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please do so in the show notes below. This guide is a proven resource to help you in your video creation experience. Everything from gear recommendations to script formulas, as well as links to helpful videos and tutorials. And now that you've got your intro video for YouTube in the bag, you might want to check out these two videos right here. One shows you how to edit inside CapCut. The other one shows you how to use the remove background feature inside CapCut. Both videos pack a lot of value. Go ahead and check them out. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, helping you create videos that get results.